channel first of all i am having a bad throat so that's why i was not able to uh, upload videos up till yet but uh, i just thought that uh, videos are important for you guys because you need videos for your preparation so that's why i came up with a new video okay and i'm starting a new series called as conceptualizing gate in which i'll be taking concept wise questions from the gate exam where uh, where a particular concept has been asked okay uh, you'll find all these questions in this series a little bit different uh, in a way okay so i'm starting this particular series with a question from gate 2019 and this particular question was from your quantum chemistry okay now this particular question seems very simple and many students did this question as well but when you look upon the actual solution of this question you will find that it's not that easy okay you have to apply a particular concept which uh, if you know it's good if you don't know you'll get to know today okay yeah so the question says that suppose the wave function of one dimensional system is given by this equation uh, like a wave function is given to you by this equation that is psi is equals to sine kx e to the power 3i kx okay or exponential 3i kx now in the experiment measuring the momentum of the system one of the expected outcome is so this question uh, is about finding out momentum and they are asking about the expected outcome okay so what what is the expected outcome so expected outcome generally means that if you apply a particular operator uh, the particular thing which you want to measure if you want if you will apply operator related to that that means over here since we have to measure momentum so we have to apply momentum operator on this wave function so whatever i will get as egan uh, value uh, that is going to be my expected outcome okay so expected outcome means nothing but your egan value all right so this is one thing which you need to know so let's look upon the solution of this particular question right uh, so the usual way of solving it is to apply or to operate the momentum operator on this wave function so i'll show that also that how it can be done but uh, this is not the correct way okay i'll show why it is not correct okay because that is important to know uh, so you have uh, like px or the momentum operator linear momentum operator given by a uh, minus i h cross do by do x right so i'm going to apply the same thing on this wave function so it will be like px i so i'm going to apply it on wave function psi so what i'm going to get in the next step will be this that is uh, minus i h cross and i'm going to differentiate this whole thing that is d by dx of sine kx okay into exponential 3i kx now see one thing that this is uh, this is not a single function this is product of two function one is this and the other one is this so we will apply product rule of differentiation okay i hope most of you are aware about that so what we do over here actually we just take out first of all minus i h cross and now what you will do i'll just do everything in this bracket so the rule says that differentiate the first function and do not differentiate the second one just keep the second one as it is so the second one is exp minus exponential and 3i kx okay so i'm not differentiating that i'll differentiate the first function so the differentiation of sine kx is going to be cos kx right and whatever the coefficient of x is that comes in multiplication so that's the property uh, like that's how we do differentiation so that's what i have done plus the second thing is that i have to differentiate this exponential function and i don't have to differentiate this function so this will remain as it is so sin kx and when i will differentiate this portion so ex differentiation of exponential to the power x remains that function itself that means it will remain as it is so 3i kx will remain as it is and whatever the coefficient of x is that i have to multiply so 3i kx will be multiplied so this is the whole thing which i will get now i can take exponential 3i kx common right so that's what i'm going to do so uh, fine so i am going to take out uh, minus i h cross is already there i am going to take out exponential 3i kx as common in the bracket i am going to get uh, k times of cos kx and plus over here uh, since this part i have already taken outside so it will be like 3i kx and along with that we will be having uh, along with that we will be having sin kx right so that's what i will get after differentiating so i have operated my uh, 
linear momentum operator and what I got is this particular equation Now this equation is actually not a Egan value equation or not a Egan this function does not seems to be Egan function why because uh, a Egan function is set to be Egan function if you apply let's say if I apply a operator a on this psi so I should get some value and along with that this psi should be retained okay so whatever wave function I'm giving I should get that wave function at, at the end so am I getting the wave function back no certainly this is not my wave function so this is not the correct way or this is not the way how it can be solved okay so this is not correct so most of the people tried this way and they found that uh, it's not solvable so they thought that okay this 3 i k x is the coefficient of sine k x so might be this might be the correct answer but that's not correct okay I will show you that what what actually is going to be the correct answer and how this has to be solved all right so in order to solve this question correctly you should know a particular conversion formula okay the formula converts your trigonometric function into exponential function okay the formula goes something like this that is sine let's say if I have uh, sine x or yeah if I have sine x so that will be given by e to the power i x minus e to the power minus i x divided by 2 okay uh, divided by 2 i so that is what my formula says similarly if I have let's say if I have cos x so that will be uh, that will be given by e to the power i x plus e to the power minus i x divided by 2 i so this is these are two ways in which you can convert your trigonometric functions into exponential form for tan x you can just calculate from here right for tan x you will get this that is tan x is equals to uh, e to the power i x minus e to the power minus i x divided by e to the power i x plus e to the power minus i x okay so that's what you will get for tan x so that these are your conversion formula and that's how you convert your trigonometric functions into your uh, exponential function so that's what you have to do uh, in this question to solve this correctly okay so i'll show you that how it is being done now I have psi is equals to sine kx, right? I was having sine kx and I was having exponential 3i kx. Now I will use this particular conversion formula, this one, and I will convert sine kx into that form. So my psi will become, uh, now sine kx is, if, if sine x is e to the power i x, so what is sine kx? It will be e to the power i kx, right? and minus e to the power minus i k x all right and in the denominator i will be having 2 i and let it be in a bracket and the other part instead of writing exponential i will write down e to the power 3 i k x okay so what i have done i have just converted my trigonometric function into my exponential in the exponential form now i can easily multiply inside and i will open the bracket that's how i will proceed in the next step so on multiplying this inside, uh, since this will be multiplied over here, so the, the power will be base, same, base is same, so the powers will be added. So I will get e to the power 4 i k x minus e to the power 2 i k x, right? Because 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 plus 1 is 1. Due to this minus sign, it got subtracted, divided by 2 i. Okay, so that's what I will get as my wave function. Now I can apply my operator on that and that is going to give me the correct answer. Alright, so I have written this equation. Uh, again, I am operating my linear momentum operator on the new wave function which I have created in this form. Now it's easier for me to solve. So what I am going to do is I am going to differentiate that. So minus ih cross will remain as it is. And when you differentiate over here e to the power 4 i k x. Uh, if you have e to the power ax if you are differentiating that so you get a e to the power ax okay so using the same identity i'm doing over here so this will be 4 i k and e to the power 4 i k x and along with that over here you are going to get 2 i k and e to the power 2 i k x okay and the whole thing will be divided by uh, let's say 2 i right so that's what i have now I can take out 2ik outside so that means what uh, they were asking the expected outcomes okay or the eigenvalues now you can see these are the two coefficients the the wave function remain as it is the wave function is as it is okay you can separate out over here also you can separate out so what 
uh, what after separate uh, after separating for the psi what you will get i'll just write down over here so your psi was like e to the power 4 i k x minus e to the power 2 i k x upon 2 i right so on separating you will get e to the power 4 i k x divided by 2i and minus e to the power 2i kx divided by 2i so that's what you will get after separating similarly here also you can separate out and you can check that what is the expected outcome or what is the eigen value you are getting in this equation so here uh, this will get multiplied with both the terms so this minus uh, okay so this will become minus 4i square h cross e to the power 4i kx and divided by 2i and minus this will get multiplied over here so minus minus will be plus and it will be 2i square h cross k k i just missed over here so k is also there and e to the power 2i kx by 2i okay now you can see uh, i square is minus 1 right so i can again uh, do it so i square is minus 1 so that minus and this minus will be cancelled out i will get 4 sorry no i now so 4 h cross k okay e to the power 4 i k x divided by 2 i and plus here i am going to get now this i square will come minus 1 so that will make this plus sign negative and i will get uh, 2 h cross k e to the power 2 i k x by 2 i now you can see these are your eigen functions right these are your eigen functions so what is the expected values or the expected outcomes which you will get so you will get two expected outcomes over here okay so this was your eigen function just see up over here just compare with both of them and you can get the expected outcome so one of the expected outcome is 4h cross k and the other one is 2h cross k why because this negative sign is there in the wave function as well so you don't consider the minus sign okay so the two expected outcome i got as 4h cross k and the second one is 2h cross k it has been asked that one of the expected outcome is so now if you check in the options one of the expected outcome is actually your option number c so option c was your correct option although this question if you if you do it the usual way uh, without changing these uh, uh, like trigonometric terms into exponential terms you might get a wrong answer okay that i showed you that we were getting 3h cross k and that was also not the eigenvalue function right so this is the correct way of solving this particular question and that's why i thought to take it to just tell you about a new thing okay so do, do let me know in the comment section that you were aware about this particular concept already or not if you were not aware about it uh, you will know from now right so just let me know uh, that uh, did, uh, did you guys like this particular video or not or shall i make a continuous videos in this particular series or not so i'll be taking these kind of questions only uh, taking from physical inorganic and or and organic chemistry which have been asked on different type of concepts in your gate exam okay so that's all for this particular guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys liked it and if you guys like this video give it a like and if you're new to this channel do subscribe this channel and i'll see you guys in the next video till then have a great day